and welcome back to another segment of my intuitive eating series. But first off, I have a really important announcement and that is I published a book. So if you guys haven't seen that already on my Instagram, on my Snapchat, on Facebook, I have a book published and it's all about my years of adversity, my years of struggling with an eating disorder, struggling with not running well, everything like that how I overcame, how I got out of that rut, got out of that valley, broke those chains of the eating disorder that were weighing me down and taking away my freedom. And yeah, all of you guys have asked a lot about my story and more questions on it and how I overcame certain struggles. So that is all in there. Um, if you wanna purchase that book, it, the link will be down below. So that is that. But now let's get to the actual video. So today we're gonna to talk about principle number two, and that is to honor your hunger. All right, so honoring your hunger is a big one because this is what will allow you to follow every other principle. Um, and this is why I say you can't have one foot in the intuitive eating world and one foot still in the dieting world or in the restriction world or in any kind of disordered pattern because honoring your hunger is key. So say like when I first started intuitive eating, like I mentioned earlier, I wanted to still kind of restrict on certain foods and still kind of count my calories so that I still had a certain amount of calories in my day and that would lead to still binging at night and I was getting so frustrated like why can't I listen to my body why can't I stop eating when I'm full but it would be because I wasn't honoring my hunger earlier in the day I wasn't eating enough to energize and fuel my body so when it came time to actually letting myself eat I wasn't able to listen to my hunger cues because my body was just like, food, I need it. So you really have to honor your hunger. You have to allow yourself the adequate amount of energy, of calories, of fat, of carbohydrates that your body needs with no restrictions, no rules attached. You can't say, oh, I want to listen to my body and I want to listen to my hunger signals, but I'm still going to only allow myself this many grams of fat, carbohydrates, or just total calories in general. You have to, like principle number one, reject the entire diet mentality and honor your hunger. When you're hungry, allow yourself to eat. Don't say, oh, well, I used to not eat lunch until noon every day, so if I'm hungry at 10.30, then I'm not gonna let myself eat. You have to allow yourself to listen to your hunger signals and just supply your body the food when it needs it. So, and this is why you have to reject the diet mentality, why you have to start with that principle and then come and start honoring your hunger. Because like for me, again, I would say, oh yeah, I just ate breakfast so I shouldn't be hungry so I'm not gonna eat more. But if you're hungry, if your body's telling you I still need more, then you have to just honor that and just eat again and give yourself another nutrient dense little snack or something like that. And this isn't talking about like honoring your hunger in the sense of like, oh I'm bored and so I want to eat so I'm gonna go honor my hunger. I mean, that's okay, like I said, it's all about balance, moderation of sometimes eating too much, sometimes eating too little. Um, but all in all, in general, it's about listening to those hunger signals out of true hunger, not out of just emotions, out of being bored, um, anything like that. So you just really have to start to differentiate why you're wanting to eat. And if it's because of your body truly being hungry or wanting some extra energy to fuel it for what you're doing, then you have to listen to it. And you can't like sit here and think like, oh, yesterday I was fine on this much, so I need to only eat this much tomorrow too. Um, your body's gonna, because of so many different reasons, need different amount of energy and everything on different days, depending on how much activity you're doing, on how stressed you are, how much sleep you've gotten, um, 
all of those things, like just even being in a cold room can burn more calories. Um, being stressed can burn more calories. Being just like crying or being emotional. Like, all of those different like feelings and activities and things that you're changing day to day can also change the amount your body needs day to day. So you just really have to honor your hunger. You have to listen to your body and you have to truly ask yourself like why am I wanting to eat right now? Is it because like I truly could like fill my tummy a little more and because it's like kind of needing a little more right now? Or is it just because I'm bored and I'm emotional or something like that? So I hope principle number two helped you guys. If you haven't seen principle number one or my intro video or my video with Tracy Brown on just like a Q&A kind of conversational piece with her about intuitive eating, you can go watch those videos. They'll all be linked down below. But number two, principle number two, honor your hunger. So until next time guys, click the thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe if you aren't already. And also if you did miss it, I have a book published. It's all about my, basically my four years in high school of when I struggled with an eating disorder, when I was a runner, how I overcame adversity, being in a rut with running, being in a really bad rut with my eating disorder, and how I overcame it all and came out of the valley as a victor, as a conqueror, onto the mountaintop. So click also down below for more about that book and where you can purchase it if you want that because I know a lot of you have asked more about my story and that goes into as much detail as I could ever provide. So until next time guys, thank you for your support. See you later. <laughs>